Hello everyone, tis I, Jujuicy, and welcome back to another YouTube video. So, <laughs> upon request to, by my, one of my, I guess, what, 13 subscribers? Um, to make a late night cooking vlog. And <laughs> the reason that it's late night is for a reason. Before I get into that, Today, I'm just gonna be doing the regular. I like to make some overnight oats. And the ingredients for today, I actually need to gather them real quick. Okay, we're ready. So, I usually just put it I got made fun of because I used to put the overnight oats in a glass, so I do it in Tupperware now. And so the ingredients that I'm going to try out today are, um, the usual ingredients are usually steel cut oats. Um, I get the gluten-free kind because I have celiac disease, so word. Lactaid because I also have an intolerance to dairy. Love that combo. I have, it's a it's an organic protein-based protein powder. It's just plain vanilla. I got this brand because it doesn't have milk ingredients, which is great for me. And then I just stick in some chia seeds. And I like to put in yogurt because it makes it thicker. But I found that by substituting the yogurt with the protein powder, it still kind of works out to have the same consistency, maybe even a little thicker. I usually pair that up with peanut butter. I don't know if I want to put peanut butter in tonight, so we'll see. And then I think I'm going to spice it up a little bit. I'm going to add in some salt because that brings out the flavor. And then cinnamon and nutmeg. And then a little bit of vanilla. So let's get started. So the main reason that I do this at night, and I'm talking a little bit quieter just because obviously everybody's asleep by now, is um, my family is very, I guess, neat when it comes to the kitchen, especially my grandmother. We call it my grandmother's kitchen because she's like a warlord when it comes to people touching things in the kitchen and making a mess. And it's mostly due to our aga. Now, I'm gonna give you a little tour. This is the aga. And the aga has one, two, three, four stoves. This one is a, like a, this one's the highest setting and then that one is the warming oven. And might I say, it's very pricey. The cost of the aga that she bought is probably worth mm, two years worth of my college tuition. Michigan State, I got like a half ride. So it's not as much as you guys are thinking. Like if you look up the cost for the Michigan State tuition, it is not that. But it, if you take that, cut it in half, and then multiply it by two, that's, wait, literally just the cost of the tuition then. I'm done. Back to the point that I was trying to make. My grandmother does not like anyone to touch her kitchen. And so I do it when everybody's asleep so that A, my sister can't rat on me, B, my mom can't rat on me, and C, my grandmother won't see anything. So she, so she won't know. By the way, this is just like a quarter cup. It calls for, yeah, around like a quarter cup of oats. And it doesn't really look like much, but once you put like all the ingredients together and put it in the fridge, it'll thicken up. Next up, I'm gonna put in my chia seeds, just to mix it in. Might as well do all the dry ingredients first. I'm not the greatest when it comes to cooking, and that's why I stated earlier in a separate vlog that I wanna get better at cooking before I go into an apartment because 
I don't really know how to cook right now. And this isn't even cooking. This is just throwing ingredients in a jar and hoping for the best. I usually do like a scoop of this and it has pretty good, I guess, nutritional value. I can, I can zoom in on the nutritional value in a minute for those who are curious about what I'm using. This is just a brief snapshot of what the protein powder I use looks like and you know what the breakdown of the macros is. It has very little sugar and oh my god, cholesterol. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to like slowly build up the confidence to use the oven. Earlier, I was going to make a video about making cinnamon buns, like gluten-free cinnamon buns, but that ended up being pretty terrible. Like, pretty much a fail. The only thing that I made right was the filling, and the filling wasn't that hard to make. It was basically just butter and brown sugar. I tried making the dough, and it turned out okay but then it wouldn't rise because the thing about gluten-free dough is that it's super watery. Like, I don't know what the heck this recipe was calling for, but we put like a lot of liquids, I guess, maybe too many liquids in it because it just wouldn't come to a consistency that was right for rolling or even working with. And so, oh, that may have been a lot of salt. I hope it turns out okay. Oh, ooh, it's fine. We're fine. It's fine. But yeah, the the um, we decided to put it in the fridge, and by we I mean me and my friend. Um, yeah, we kind of we kind of gave up on the dough a little bit and stuck it in the fridge and hoped for the best, and then. The next day, it was just me, myself, and I, and I tried that dough, and it tasted like, I don't even know how to describe it, it tasted like freshly fermented toilet beer. Yeah. Also, this is looking kind of gross right now, but it'll look better, I think, in a minute. And so what I did was I took um, some gluten-free tortillas, put the mixture of butter and brown sugar in those tortillas and rolled them up and stuck them in the fridge. And you know what? My mom, I think, liked them. I, I kind of liked them. It was a little disgusting, if I'm being honest, but hit the spot. This does not have the shaker like the other one does, so I have to be more careful because I would definitely ruin it. Ha 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 ha. My goal for the summer, well, not for the summer. One of the goals for the summer is to be able to make gluten-free cinnamon buns and them actually turning out right, which would be great because I haven't had a real cinnamon bun. Hmm, I don't remember the last time I had a real cinnamon bun. It had to have been probably in elementary school sometime. And let's see, I'm 20 right now. So elementary school, I would have been like eight or nine. So like 12 years, 11 years, give or take. I don't really measure the milk. I just kind of like mix it till it looks right. Also, I've done a horrible job of explaining what I'm doing. I don't really measure when it comes to like spices, so I just kind of stuck in some nutmeg and then teaspoon of cinnamon, maybe? Um, I used a teaspoon of vanilla because vanilla is kind of strong and I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, it's not as thick as I thought it would be, but the protein powder does help. The reason that I hate protein powder is because when you mix it, it gets stuck in the spoon and then you have to use your finger to get it out and then it's just weird powdery wet mixture and it gets stuck on your finger. That looks pretty okay. This is like, I don't want to spill it. Ooh, 
I just came so close to spilling it. Let me move the camera instead. So this is the finished product. Now, as for a taste test, I am gonna garnish it with something. I don't know what I wanna put on top, but it doesn't really look like a lot right now. Put in a lot of salt, so I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna taste. I'll do like a little taste test. I usually do that before and then it'll look, it'll gel up in the morning because the, the, um, the oats will absorb the moisture of the milk. At least that's what I think. That's not bad. I can definitely get the cinnamon in the nutmeg, which is great. And then it wasn't too much salt. I think that it was just right. I think that it was just enough salt. So overall, I'd say this cooking segment was, or I don't, I don't even know what to call it. This isn't cooking. This isn't cooking. What is this? I'll come up with something. Um, was a success. And now I'm going to find something to put on top. I just decided to be basic. I'm going to just add a banana on top. So I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so it kind of looks really bad. Um, I honestly don't know how the people at Pliable make it look so good when they put the banana on there because I tried doing what they did where like they spread out the banana and then they put it on top, but it's super sad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is a finished product. Mm. I just wanted to show what it would look like in the morning. It kind of looks the same, but then when you stick your spoon in there, it, it thickens up. So, overall, good. I tried it. it. Tastes pretty good. I would say success. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, then like this video. And yeah. If you like it you can also subscribe I'm just just saying that but for now peace out scouts <laughs>